Maybe you should make sure he's cool with it. Would you be cool with it? If we were dating and I went behind your back. Oh my god, Ricky. You're so annoying sometimes. <laughs> Oh my god, this is amazing! Hello, welcome to the new channel where I'll be reacting to High School Musical, the musical the series. This is a new channel of mine. If you've seen, if you've come from my other channel, thank you. Um, anyway, please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, today we're reacting to season two, episode five of High School Musical, the musical the series, Quinceanero. It's super cool because this is, um, I think for Carlos's Quinceanera, the Quinceanera like equivalent. I just think that's what it is based on the O at the end because that's the masculine way of doing it, I think. I don't know. I took Spanish for like a couple of years, so that's based on what, that's just based on what I know. Um, but yeah, it's really cool to see what this episode is. I'm guessing it's going to be like throwing him his party that he uh, he's mentioned a couple times throughout the season. So I'm really excited to see what happens with that. And also we're going to get the fallout, I'm guessing, with Gina and Ricky. Something's going to happen with this in this episode. Uh, I just hope they, like, resolve that as soon as possible because it's kind of, like, it's almost painful to watch Gina, like, hurt or whatever. Um, and I just hope they do something about that soon because it is kind of, it's, like, really sad, basically. And I just hope she finds someone for her, basically. I keep saying basically. Anyway, Nini decided to stay, which is really happy, happy moment. It seems like Ricky and Nini are all good, which is good. Um, but yeah, let's just see what happens in this episode. It's my birthday weekend, but I don't like just telling people that because, like, how thirsty am I, you know? But I'm not about dropping a hint. <laughs> How thirsty am I? <laughs> that was... Oh, I love Carlos. Gotta go to class. See you. Oh, it's obviously he's playing. Seth's playing right now. You no, know, we should really stop meeting up like this. Then pick another coffee shop, hun. They've only met once this entire... <laughs> They've only met once this entire season before. How could they be saying we should stop meeting like this? Your moment is coming. One scalding hot black coffee for Lily. And That's probably the scariest scene of this entire show. Oh my god. For the party, I'm recreating this crazy home movie dance video that Carlos made in seventh grade. Just two weeks ago, you weren't even talking, and now you're throwing him the party of the century? I always know where I stand with him. Which is more than I can say for most boys at this school. Oh, there it is. <laughs> our first, uh, our first uh, taste of drama right there. Oh, God. I just wish I had known ahead of time that I was staying. I did something that night that I wish I could take back. You ever put yourself out there and just get nothing back? Okay, the scene's not done and I'm stopping like halfway through or whatever. But it's so nice to see her like finally like subtly addressing like her feelings, which, yeah, this is, this is a breakthrough moment. And for that alone, he deserves a goodbye party. You mean a surprise party? Goodbye party? What the hell? What is a goodbye party? I am like Picasso of our ages. You know, Picasso is an appreciated in his own time. I'm a Radonovich. When you cut us, we bleed red. Radonovich, that's his name. Radonovich, wow, what an awesome name. Maybe it wouldn't hurt if you like, talk to Miss Jen about getting you back on stage with the rest of us. Maybe it's a sign. We should just focus on making new music and do my own solo thing. Stop that deep phone and China stuff. Was that conflict right there? What, Ricky was saying he wanted to be with her all the time in the drama and she said she wants to do her own thing and that's drama. No, that's not drama. <laughs> anyway, we just gotta like, we got a little taster of a little drama between Ricky and Nini. Do you think it's a crazy idea if I talk to Miss Jen about getting Nini into the show somehow? Maybe you should make sure Nini's cool with it. Would you be cool with it? If we were dating and I went behind your back. Oh my god, Ricky. You're so annoying sometimes. Oh, this is not gonna end well. We aren't dating. Maybe there are better people to invite in about Nini. I'm just saying tonight's about Carlos. And I wanna go out big. There's definitely a lot of drama. Like, on the surface. Oh, I love that, Gina. Confront him. Whew. God, something's gonna happen at the end of this episode, I'm sure. Unless Howie and Courtney actually get together, and then they break up, and then one of them quits. Wait, what? Wait. Why, what? Damn, Big Red, just let it all out. Plus, I love Carlos, so easy now. I'm gonna make that kid a birthday tribute you will never forget. Don't forget to get my good side later. Which side is that? 
God, it's so cringy. <laughs> Carlos Rodriguez. This is so like high production for like a party. This is like seriously impressive. Because I remember where I was in seventh grade for uh, all the places that I was that year. But the difference between us is I never would have put that out into the world. And I never would have left that up on Instagram after some of the comments you got. No matter what happens tomorrow or the day after that, just keep on dancing. Okay. This is really emotional. I don't know why she's about to, like, seems like she was about to cry there. Um, I don't know. I feel like something's gonna happen with one of them. Either, like, Gina's leaving, or Carlos is leaving, or some someone's leaving. That's what it feels like. But that was a really, uh, uh, emotional and powerful speech by Gina, <clears throat> by Gina there. Um, I thought the fact that, again, I love this show so much because they address the fact that he got a lot of hate comments how they're so proud of him because i think that's like that's just yeah i just really love this kind of show because it's it's discussing real life that's what life is about you know this is seriously high production oh my god this is amazing Oh, this is like our first chance to like, I think, really see like Sophia's voice. And it's like amazing, this song. Oh, I love it. Oh, this is awesome. This is so high quality for someone's birthday. I can't like even believe it. This is amazing. Oh, that was awesome. Day one. Day one. Gina, that was amazing. Thank you. How do you feel right now? Like I did everything I needed to do here. God, she just said like she needs to do everything. She, is, is she gonna move? Is she leaving? Is that what this is about? Is that why she keeps saying all that stuff? Oh God, no, please, no, God, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, let me hit record here. That was just you asking? Is that okay? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh. Yes! <laughs> this is an amazing episode. You're also sort of my hero. That video from when you were 13 has 1,000 views. 100 of them were from me. I was 12 years old and hiding in my room in every sense of that word. Semi-viral for Utah. <laughs> who you were, I barely knew who I was. Oh, come on! We're in the middle of like a, an emotional like moment for Seb. <laughs> he's like, what he's talking about, and he's, he's still doing this Gina thing. Oh, it's so sad. Stop doing it, show, please. This is the climb, isn't it? I haven't heard this song in like forever. This is so emotional and like so like beautiful and perfect. Uh, like I said in like one of the first episodes of this season, uh, I think Joe Serafini has an like, amazing voice and I love his rendition of this song. Oh, this is just amazing. I just love his voice and how he's interpreted this song. Oh, that was so beautiful. Oh, I really, I really enjoyed that. What I loved about that is he made that so uniquely his own. I, I gotta be honest, I don't completely remember the original, but like I remember hearing the original and um, he sang that in a much like lower voice, which I think is like, I think it was his like actual like choice to do that because I think based on last season and his voice that I think I remember, I think he like can sing even higher. So especially with that like, one of those last notes there. Oh, that was just beautiful. I loved his like rendition of the client. Kiss. Oh. You just are. I'm not sure how I can thank you all for this. I've never- Don't tell me he's leaving. Not now, not after such an emotional time. I can't thank you all enough for just getting me. Love you, Carlos. Love you. I don't know who that guy is, but yeah. Done. Don't tell us how you felt the moment Carlos shows you as his godmother. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so now as you've turned the camera around, who was the most interesting interview? Gina. Oh, I am here for that. 
I'm all here for it. I live here. I live for it. <laughs> Are you crying? I'm not not crying. <laughs> God, she's so aggressive. <laughs> okay, so she's gonna ask Dee to write a song called Rose. Is that it? I'm ready to come home. <laughs> no, you're kidding me. Ugh. You're kidding me. Ugh. It's so obvious what they were doing. But like, I was hoping against hope that it wasn't. Um, uh, wow. Um, what an episode. That was really emotional uh, throughout. I think, like, I really felt like every uh, kind of like beat of that. Wow. What a great episode, I think. Um, I said that just now, and I'm saying it again. Obviously, uh, we got a lot of like, a lot of like emotional beats throughout the episode. Um, obviously, like, Centering around the quinceanero, which was awesome, and Gina, who did awesome with her song, and then uh, Seb did awesome with his cover of The Climb. Uh, his speech was also really beautiful. So was Gina's speech. <laughs> and then Gina confronting Ricky, which was really nice. Gina opening up, which was really nice. Gina leaving, which wasn't nice. Um, <laughs> um, Gina and EJ, like having some sort of connection, that was nice. Uh, Nini and Ricky, a little bit of drama about like their disagreement on uh uh well it wasn't really drama i don't know what i'm talking about uh and then now nini's performing so yeah just a really big episode i just recap recap like everything <laughs> um yeah i really liked it please let me know your thoughts on the episode your thoughts on the songs your thoughts on everything and uh yeah we'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>